All right, so let me get the tried. I'll right, figure out exactly where I put it at last because my screen is drying here. Why I am sitting here trying to figure out where I put it at. All right, there we go. So the way I wasn't going to should just drop my camera. I wasn't going to oh, the camera for my PS4. I wasn't going to um, do this video. Sorry about the camera, my thing. Shoot, I over my cord and snatched my system off the ground. Anyway, I wasn't going to do this video, but I figured might as well. Halfway through, I decided to record it. Because sometimes I'll get a customer that'll say two quarts was not enough for me to paint a 120 inch screen. So, right here, this is one quart, and my screen size here is about 126 so this is the 126 inch screen that i had in the backyard and i'm converting that to a black screen right now Ugh. and i'm using one quart thought i'm going to have to use the second but keep in mind one quart does up to 120 inch so here's the black right there that i'm using one quart all right, so let's get this finished in real quick. So this is a one coat application. And first things first, for those who don't know me, my name is Kenneth Bird, and I am the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint or Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Technology Screen. But, yeah, this is a one coat application, so you don't have to worry about, you're not gonna need um, a two quart. Now mind, this screen right here, I'm using one quart, and I'm painting a screen size that's over 126 inches. I'm not gonna do a demonstration on showing you the screen once it's dry because it's too big, it needs to dry. But just showing you how easy it is for me to be able to come in and use one whole quart to paint the screen size that's way over the size that it's supposed to be able to paint. Because I've had incidents in the past of people saying, hey look, I was I didn't have enough paint paint 126, 120 inch screen. You could probably do 130 inch with one quart easily. I wouldn't push it at 150. We really wouldn't push it at that one, but easily you could do uh, um, uh, um, one, 130. Because like I said, it's a one coat application. It's very easy to apply. So I decided to convert the screen in the backyard, which is nine technology, I converted it to 12. And before those of you, turn me from the camera, my bad. For those of you who started saying, well, and I thought you said that the 12 wasn't weatherproof. Technically, I did some uh, tweaking to the paint, the screen paint, and did two different the tweak we made it so you can basically uh, make it so you can roll it on as I'm doing now because before it required to be sprayed on um, the other thing was uh, I uh, added something to make it weatherproof because um, I would like I like weatherproof black screens so now it is weatherproof so this is my screen for outside Very easy to clean up off the floor. If you spill any of this on the floor, hot water and soap takes it right on up and you're done. I'd like to make sure I got my edges done pretty well. So like I said, very easy to do. One quart is easy gonna be to do 120 inch screen. But like I said, I'll need customers to say, hey look, I ran out of paint. Could you send me more? 
I was like, there's no way in the world possible. You're telling me that you did 120 in screen. With one port, you ran out of paint. Fish posh. I could do it here easily on a screen that is 126 inches. Way bigger than 120 inch. Alright, so just going over some spots on the screen. Just want to make sure everything's good to go. Alright, so we'll roll over here for a minute so I gotta dry this off. Now, the reason why you're seeing that little bump area in the middle of the screen, that's there. I'll show you why that's there. That is there. The reason why you see a little, might see a little bump there rising the screen. The reason why it's there because it's a piece of material actually under the screen. So under the screen is a piece of material, and that's under the screen, and that's actually rested on top of the bar. The reason why I do it that way is because that prevents from you getting a bar imprint in the middle of your screen when you roll it in. Now, if you're going to spray it in, not a problem, but if you're going to roll it in, you, you're definitely going to get that bar imprint right in the center. And how you eliminate that is you just take a piece of material cloth, fold it up or a towel, and just put it in between the bar and the screen. And then that way you don't get that bar. See, look at this. Nope. Just put over something over here. So right here, no bar, right there. And there's my 135 inch over there, no bar. So that's how you get rid of that print in the middle. I suggested at one point to remove the bar, but I would suggest not to do that because it is a pain in the neck to get back in. And we're gonna have to worry about stretching up the screen. It won't crack or peel because you have it, um, you have it, uh, what's this right here? On my screen, we're not supposed to be there. You're not gonna have a, a problem with the screen uh, having a, strange imprint there because of that sometimes i'll have some dust on me when i'm moving about and i'll transfer right over to the screen Whoa. feel that let me make sure i get that one area because i just had to put my finger through that a few minutes ago because uh, due to the fact that i put something on the laying against the screen i don't know why that was even there Like I said, very easy to do. Very easy to coat in. You don't have to put two and three coats on. Just one coat, that's all you need when you're done. It's just very easy to apply. Uh, child can literally paint your screen for you. And your kids literally can paint your screen. It's that easy. Alright, I just, yes I did. Well, no, we're just got to be like that. I'm just making sure this to go. So that's done. So I just gotta bring a fan in here, let this dry and knock it out. I'm done right there. Finish with that, okay dokey. So it's going to be a bit noisy in here a bit as this dries. And make sure I see some paper flying across. I want to make sure that gets hit. Nothing is that screen. So it dries peacefully without anything hitting it. So it took me one quart. That's it. Where's my other quart at? Yeah, it took me one quart to knock it out and I'm done. So right here, this is somebody else's I gotta take the top off that change that top I'll put a clean top on it then somebody else's paint right there so right now so far these are uh, somebody ordered like um, two two of the uh, two quarts to make it a gallon so those that's their orders right there those are the rest of the ones remaining these are the ones that are going out next they're gonna be done between the 17th and 18th and then we're gonna start again on the 20th so we just got everybody uh, just about everybody done um, when it comes to uh, March, I'm done for March. March and April, I think, are all the orders in March and April are done. And I'm pretty much got a very, very, very light amount of orders 
um, and the rest of the months. July, I got a good amount in there, but I'm not worried about that because every time I do orders for any of those in-between months, I always go in and knock out some of July's too. Uh, this screen right here, like I said, it's going to be outside because now the, um, the 8, I mean, sorry, 12. 12 is now weatherproof. So I got myself some weatherproof lights so I can take it outside and then light the screen. Keep in mind, this is not weatherproof, so you might want to remove this or put this in a plastic bag. You know, anything like this, like the conjunction box. None of this stuff is weatherproof, so either want to wrap a tight, wrap a, a bag around it and zip tie it nice and tight, or you basically, um, I don't know, if you wrap a bag around, you might have to use a remote control. So you just might want to just take it apart, put it somewhere we can actually take it apart, or put it behind a conjunction box, a weatherproof conjunction box, and you're good to go from there. All right, so once this screen dries and I put the LED lights up, I'll do a video demonstration off of it. And this is my 126 inch. Uh, 16 to 9. It's a screen that actually used to be in here. And this is replaced to the 35. This is actually used on our gold. Now, for anyone asking, am I ever going to change this over to a black? Nope. I like my gold in here. I love the gold. As you can see, look at it. It's gold. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. Get on out of here. Get the rest of these orders. And probably get a chance to get a chance to rest the day and get something to eat. Alright, thank you all. I got to go and God bless.